Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're taking a look at part two of DVD authoring. The last episode we left off with um, putting together our sequence in Adobe Premiere and we finished up with dropping in our chapter markers. Uh, we've saved our project at this point and now we've got everything all lined up in the order that we want for the DVD. So our next step is to actually move this all over to Adobe Encore. Okay. The way I'm going to do that is from inside Premiere, I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go to Adobe Dynamic Link, and send this to Encore. Go ahead and click that, and automatically it's going to open up Encore here. It's going to take my project down in the timeline, and it's going to put it right into a sequence inside of Adobe Encore. And the chapter markers will follow, and they will become the tracks of the DVD. I'm just going to give this a moment, and we can go ahead and give this a name for our DVD. I call the first one sample, I'll call this one sample. Again, this is saving to the documents folder here, and this is your chance to choose either Blu-ray or DVD. NTSC just means that it's in North America. Um, you can see that it's going to be the standard 720 by 480 if it's a DVD, and if it's the Blu-ray, it'll switch it up to 1080 and you can choose the frame rate and all that stuff um, in the advanced settings. We're just going to go to DVD and uh, we can check the default transcode settings and um, leave it right at 8 megabits per second and we're all set up. We click OK and OK. And now it's transcoding everything so that it will take our sequence from Premiere and dump it into the sequence here. So here it all is, and you can see we've got our chapter markers in here, chapter 1, chapter 2, and then chapter 3. Okay, so we've got all the chapters in there. And the next step, before we can go any further, is we need some templates. Now you're seeing all the templates over in the right-hand corner here, including the styles, and all of that is already added into uh, my particular library. We have to get that onto yours as well. So uh, let's go through those steps very quickly here. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drag Encore off to the side. And uh, we're going to go to our server. And in the server, we've got a folder that's called Encore Content. And I'm just going to select all these and copy them. Okay. After I've copied them with the Command C, I'm going to then go over to my Applications. And I can go ahead and switch right here. So I'm going to go to my Applications. I'm going to go to Adobe Encore, okay, and in the library area is uh, actually in this area, anywhere in this folder here, I'm going to paste in those um, folders that I just uh, copied. So library, styles, all of those um, that I just copied are going to get pasted in here. Um, after I've pasted those in here, we've got one thing left to do in Encore, and that's to um, let it recognize that we have this new library and where it's saved. So let's go ahead and head there, and I'll show you that. So I bring back Adobe Encore, and I go to Encore at the top here, and I'm going to go to the Preferences, and we will go to the Media. Inside of the media here, it is looking for a location for our library. And uh, to begin with, it won't have the accurate library location. So I can just go to Browse, okay, and I can choose Library here from this location. Again, we are in the Applications folder, and I'm in the Encore, Adobe Encore folder, and I click on Library. Um, after I click Library, I click Choose, and this is all set up, and I click OK. Now over here in the library, I will have all the extra template things that I need um, to start creating a menu and uh, work off some of the templates uh, for um, the other features like submenu, scene selection, things like that. So now we're all set. Um, that's where I'm going to conclude the uh, tutorial for today. This is part two of a three-part series. And uh, the next part, we'll take a look at how to actually create those menus kick them over to Photoshop and uh, make some general changes to them and then how to tie all of the chapters to the different menu items. Okay, thanks for joining us again with another episode of Red Hawk Media.